Good morning from Rita's Roost and the Quilted Chicken Farm. This is my second video this morning, January the 15th. The first video, I just sort of talked to you and I stirred up a little blueberry breakfast cake. And I've kind of been getting some complaints because I'm, I can't edit videos very well. It takes a lot of time that I don't have the time to do. So you, sometimes when I make something, you don't always see what it turns out like. But here's my breakfast blueberry cake. And I'm even going to try it for you. And then I'm going to make something else. I'm just going to get a little piece. To see how it turned out. Just a little piece. Oh, there it is. Got my cup of coffee. And as soon as I eat this and take this break, I'm going to make some peach cobblers. It's still warm. That's good. It'd be good with a cup of milk, too. A cup of glass of cold milk. There's my blueberry. This this is specialty for Rusty Bucket. Rusty Bucket says he never sees what I finished making. That's where I cut a piece out of it. So I'll take this bite for you, Rusty Bucket. And I'll take this bite for you, too, since you tell me I'm cute sometimes. <laughs> you do. On some of those live streams we do. My goodness, I got flour all over me. I, I could eat this whole thing, but I want to talk to you about my pie, my cobbler crust I'm going to be making. Now, when I made mine, I kind of improvised on the recipe. But if you want to make one, just look up a breakfast blueberry cake. Because I saw some with buttermilk. I saw some with sour cream. And I used a little bit of my sour milk and a little bit of the, the cream off the top of my fre fresh milk. milk. I'm going to send this up to Millie's family. They love blueberries, so that's where... I may cut a little bit more piece of it to keep for me, and then I'm sending the rest of it to the family. That turned out pretty, didn't it? One blueberry. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Because now we're going to make peach cobbler. Well, I've stopped after a while and clean up my mess. So. Now, I'm just going to do this like I do a pie. I'm going to make my Never Fail Pie Crust. And I've got two or three videos out with that. And what I'm going to do... My peaches. There's my frozen peaches. And I'm not going to tell you how old they are. They've been in the freezer for a few days. A few years. So, so don't ask me. I won't have to lie to you. I'm going to turn that where you can't see that date. And what I'm going to do, they're still frozen. Put that in the sink. But all I plan on doing is I'm going to mix a little sugar and cornstarch together. Let me find me another bowl. When I froze them, I probably put fruit fresh, and, and I know the sugar already in them. But I want to put a little cornstarch so it, when it bakes, it'll thicken up. So I put a little bit of sugar and a oh, fourth of a cup of cornstarch. And I could put the I could put these in a pan on the stove and, and cook all this together. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stir it in there and then put it in the pan and as the pie bakes it'll it'll thicken. It won't be all too juicy. 
Look at them. Don't those look good, even though they've been in the freezer for a few days. And that's my sugar and my cornstarch. And like I said, I could put it in a little pan and boil it just a little bit to thicken it up. But I think as it bakes, it'll work just fine. Let me stir it up a little bit. These peaches are getting more juicy as they thaw out. And I'm going to do two of them. And I've got, I've got another one here. And I'm going to do it the, the same way as I'm going to do this one. I'm going to set that back to the side. And I've got two little pans. This is about the size that I'm going to use. They're not very big. And I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing. Oh, I found a sack of flour. I wasn't out of flour. But I found this sack down there, so I'm just going to use it. The next time I go to the store, I'm going to buy another one to replace it. I've got my mat down here. Wonder what the date on this one says. You know what it says? It, it's been in the freezer, but it says better if used by April of 2021. And this is 24. Been down there a few days, hasn't it? And I'm going to put three cups in here. I still got some extra blueberries, so I'm going to use some more flour in my blueberry muffins in a little bit, too. Next time I go to the store, I'm going to get me some more flour. I'll move that. I need a cup of shortening. Mm, what I want. Push it down in that, that cup. Use this metal cup for it. I have been use my plastic cups and break the handles off of them because I'm pushing on them too hard. <laughs> Holding on to the handle and push. I've had my favorite ones break before. Some, some of them I've had, I've had for a long time and they break on me. Sometimes just dipping stuff out of the sack. But I'll put that flour in my flour canister here in a little bit. There's, let's get a little bit more. There's my cup. Let's see, let's put some salt in there. We want a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to measure it in my hand. That's a teaspoon. It is a teaspoon. I know how much my hand holds. Let's give that a little stir. I'm going to put that in there. Peck, 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 peck. And I will put an egg and vinegar and water in this. Let me get my pastry blender. Sometimes, sometimes I use my fingers to show you you don't have to use one of these. But... Let's do that. Mix that all in there. Put some elbow grease into it too. That's that Oh, that flour had come straight out of the freezer this morning using it. I see a few snowflakes falling. It's cold here today. I've told you that that's the reason I'm just doing some extra baking because it's so cold. Now, 
let's see what I have in there. I think I had blueberries that I've rolled in powdered sugar in that, but I'm going to use that bowl again. It's not too dirty. Give me a little green egg. Put five tablespoons of water. One, two, three, four, and whoop oh boy, it just barely held five. You see that little cup? That come out of a box of oatmeal years ago. Some of y'all probably remember stuff like that. Everything around here is vintage, almost, especially myself. I'm real vintage, ain't I? And my mama, my mama's more vintage than I am. Now, I'm going to put this in here. Should I, I should have grabbed a fork instead of a spoon, but we'll be all right. Improvise and use what I what I grab and what I have. I think that's gonna need some more water. Cause that's not gonna mix up very good. Don't seem like let me get my hands in it. We'll try that. Yep, I'm going to put some more water because I can tell, I can tell it's not going to come out just exactly like I want it to. I can just feel it. I've done this enough times, I can just feel it's not right. I'm going to put much more. I must go where that flower is more dry. And this is... This is not for company. This is just for the family. Y'all have watched me. If you watch any of my videos, you've seen me do this before. And I don't think I had this much trouble this morning. It's the, is it the weather, baby? Might be the weather. Might be that cold flower. A little bit, a little bit more. I'll get it one way or the other. All right, y'all. Are you gonna work for me? We'll call that the bottom of our cobbler. My dear husband is out on the tractor this cold morning, haying the poor old cows that are out in this cold weather, and I know he's having to go break the water on top of the ponds. Yesterday, they were standing with snow on their back. They look pitiful. And that blueberry cake, my husband's not a blueberry fan, but he'll eat this peach cobbler. We'll make this peach, peach cobbler be his. All right, where'd I put the flour? Need some on my board. 
Move my coffee cup. Move my water cup. Need some room here to work. Let's get those out of the way. I've got a sink full of still warm soapy water back there. Gotta have my rolling pin. working oh I can make another cobbler out of them blueberries too blueberry cobbler's good I put enough flour down well I've done a better job at this Seems like this morning, I'm just not having a great lot of luck. I'm going to trim them, them rough edges. I'm going to use them. Do this. Whoop. Do this in first. See if I can get it centered in there. Gonna be rustic looking. I can already tell you that. There, that's the bottom. Let's see, let's put our peaches in there. This is our, our frozen peaches that had the sugar, and we put some cornstarch. They're still pretty cold. And they fit in there just about right. Get, up, get every, all the good part. And I'll use that little bowl to mix up the next one. Now let's make us a top. And I won't show you, on this video, I won't show you the finished cobbler. You'll just have to imagine a hot, piping hot, bubbly cobbler coming out of the oven. Oh, and if we had some vanilla ice cream to go on that. Peach cobbler is just about as good as an apple or some of those others. I need another little handful of flour. Put some underneath too. And that pan's oblong, so I'm going to make it more one way than I am the other way. Alright, <laughs> there it is. And, and it's a little rough looking too. So I'm going to trim it kind of closer to the size of that pan, that bowl there. And I'm just going to guess at it. Kind of make it egg shaped. I believe I'm going to have to mix up some more for that next one. What do you think? What do you think? That's about right, ain't it? <laughs> I think it is. I think it's perfect. Well, not perfect, but we'll make it work. We're going to put it right there. Not going to do anything fancy with it. going to make just a couple of slits. Oh, more than a couple. That's five or six. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on top. That's all I'm going to do to that one. And I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it. Maybe you'll see it again soon. I'm going to scoot that over. And I'm going to put it on a baking dish. Oh, there's already a little of the, pe the peach peeking through. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.